For me, the most rewarding part of the business is when your customers come back to you again, they enjoy the cakes. When you see our customers, you know, being happy for what they paid for, you know you have done something right. If I'm still in other establishment, you won't get to hear, you won't ever see the customer. Hi, I'm Melvin. I'm the owner of Nature Bakery. We do fresh baked products, pound cakes, butter cakes. Currently, for pound cakes, we have Earl Grey, banana, green tea, chocolate, we have orange, we have plain butter cake, we have marble cake. And currently, the new product is this, the flourless chocolate cake. So, for our matcha azuki cake, we use a green tea powder from Kyoto. For the red bean, we use a Hokkaido azuki red bean. For our banana walnut, we use fresh banana, not banana essence, crushed walnuts. For the Earl Grey, we use Earl Grey tea granules. So on top of it, we put uh, black currants. The black currants actually have a bit of uh, acidity, so it brings out a bit of fresh to, to the cake itself. Lastly, the flourless chocolate cake, we use the Verona chocolate. It's a 70% dark chocolate. Our cake usually depends on the quality of the ingredients that we use. We don't really have special secret or anything. Just cakes that use quality ingredients that brings out the full flavor of the cake itself. We let the ingredients speak for themselves. That's why our prices is um, higher a bit, but we try to keep it as low as we can to sustain the business. At the end of the day, to me, what we sell is what the customers paid for. And definitely if they are paying for a price that is worthy, we have to give them something that's worthy of the money they pay for. Uh, we started in 2012. I didn't expect Nature to last for six years plus. It's a small business. You know, it's easy to manage, but yet it's easy to close also. Our ingredient cost has been going up ever since the first day. From start to now, we haven't been you know, increasing our selling price for our products. Most of it, we have been absorbing it ourselves. Even rental has increased, but we still feel that if we can absorb and our customers still appreciate our products, they're still buying, we're just going to keep it this way. Before I started Nature, I started off at a hotel, Marina Bay Sands. You actually have to work overtime and overtime can go, and go up to probably a day you can spend like minimum 12 hours in the kitchen. Some days like we can start work in the morning, we can end around in midnight. I decided to quit from MBS and our establishment so that I can actually do my own recipe. I didn't really have a fixed idea of where I want to start this business. Just want to do something that, that belongs to me. I like to be more adventurous. Yeah, I just don't want to stick in a kitchen to work you know, my way up. For myself, when I go out to eat, I prefer to go to hawker centres, coffee shops, rather than you know, restaurants. Because I, I feel that currently everybody's talking about the hawker culture that is going to be lost. So some part of me wants to stick to something simple, something original in Singapore that we can actually carry on. To me, making a profit is, is not the main priority. We need to make profit to sustain the business. But at the end of the day, when, when you see your customers collecting the products, you know, they are happy with it for all your effort, you know, your hard work. It's not gone to waste. It's tiring, but it's fulfilling. It's the passion that comes first.